Hey guys, Supertender Buff here, and I'm here with uh, two little iWeb tips for you today. Now I've got requested these tips by a few users on YouTube, so this is mainly directed for you, uh, but if you're new to iWeb this may help you as well. Okay, first of all we're going to start with borders. You, wait, you may notice in iWeb, when you try and move uh, a little text box into the footer, the footer just goes down and the text box doesn't actually go into the footer itself. How do you get it into the footer? There are two ways of doing this. You could simply just make a little box and type in a text here, like so, and then just drag the box in. And then, for example, you could then go and remove the color of the box itself, so you only have the text. That's one way. But if you actually want to be professional, get rid of the box and actually move in the actual text box itself, this is how you can do it. Press and hold the command button on your keyboard and then drag and drop the text box into the footer. You'll see a blue line highlights the footer. Now let go of the text box and you can let go of the command button on your keyboard. There you go. That's how you can get text box into footers. And that's the same with HTML snippets too, like this RSS feed I have here. Just press and hold command, drag it down, and let go. And there we go. It's now in the footer. If you want to bring it back to the body of the uh, site, we can just drag it back in. You'll notice once again when we drag it back down, it'll just move the footer down. So we need to press and hold command to move the uh, snippet down into the footer. So that's one little tip. The second was RSS feeds. How do you get them to work? Well, to add a new RSS feed, go to the menu bar, click on insert, then click on widget. You get a diff choice of different widgets, from mobile me gallery photos, to YouTube, to Google Maps, and more. One of them says RSS feed. Click on this. You get a small little RSS feed, which you can customize, expand it, make it bigger, and of course, make it smaller as well. To add RSS feed, simply copy and paste the RSS feed from the site you've chosen. To do this, come into Safari. Now, I've already got a few RSS feeds here that I've copied and pasted into text edit, but if you don't know how to get the RSS feed from a site, this is how you can do it. Come to Safari and choose the site of the option. I've got Apple Insider here. In Safari, or most browsers, you'll notice at the top in the address bar there's a little button saying RSS, or it may have a little icon of RSS like this one right here. Click on this. You'll notice the link of the site now changes to feed dot dot slash slash and then whatever the site name is. Copy this feed, come and down into iWeb and paste it into the options menu once you click the uh, RSS feed snippet and click apply. If the chosen RSS feed also has images, you can choose to view these as well. Uh, now in this case, the Apple Insider uh, RSS doesn't have any images, but obviously some sites will do. So you do get choice in iWeb to add images as well. And you can choose how the images are also laid out in the feed as well. Okay. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, two little tips for iWeb users. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.